For my second review this week of new releases of what comes out, I am going to cover Shreddy Krueger and their debut full-length album entitled The Grieving. So let's see what I gotta say about this one. Like usual, the track listing comes first, and uh, this is a basic length track listing for a full length. It's 10 songs, but uh, I'm going to get into a little, bit a little bit of detail about some of them. Maybe not all of them, but we'll see. Alright, so starting off, the album uh, begins with Hazel the Apparition. Now, I thought this was a really good song to start off with. Um, the cleans were really well done, and I thought that they mixed well with the screams when they would come in. I thought the chorus was really awesome, and when it hit, um, it would stick in your head, you know. So the first song on this album is what will basically determine, uh, for a lot of people, I, I believe, if you are going to like an album or not, because it will make you either stick around to hear the rest of it, you know, you're interested, or, you know, the first song turns you off completely. So tracks two and three, tracks two and three, I thought were really well done. They had a great pace, you know, they were going really well instrumentally. Uh, I love the chorus and I thought they were really well done. But uh, track four is what I want to talk about right now. This, this is called In Amorta. Now, it was a slower paced song and it was just fully clean vocals. And there are a few songs where clean vocals do um, way heavier than the screaming vocals, but this was just purely clean vocals. And I thought seeing something like a, just a slower paced song, you know, uh, almost halfway through the album would really slow things down and kind of help a listener, you know, um, get ready to get amped back up for one of the faster paced songs. The album does build up when uh, the tracks Violence and Empress come in. Uh, Violence is track 5 and it's slower paced but builds up with some breakdowns and has a great mix of screams and cleans so it definitely starts to pick back up from um, In Amorta. Now Empress is a really upbeat song, really awesome. There is probably more cleans to screams in this song but still, it's it's brought you up to a pace where you're ready for you know more of that uh, steady pace, screaming, clean vocals, uh, fast paced music. At track seven, I thought that in ruin was really awesome because, like I said, it built you up and got you ready. There was this awesome breakdown intro right off the bat, and it's like whoa, you know, I wasn't really expecting it after the last few songs. Uh, there was a, a pretty good use of electronic in the song, like synth, and it really mixed well into the song because I was kind of listening, I was like, whoa, oh, there's electronic, you know, there's a synth in there, that's really cool, I like how they mixed that together. And uh, there, was, there was really good tempo changes in this song because there was a breakdown, and then it went to more of a, a natural, more uh, well put together instrumental set, and then bam, back into a breakdown, back into that instrumental style, which really, really made this song awesome. Going down to the end of the album, I just want to talk about track 10 because I do believe tracks 8 and 9 are good. But track 10 is the last song, it's called Child Heart. Now, it was a, a, another heavy song, which is good to end with on the album, because you've already, you know, slowed it down track 4 and built it back up. You don't want to end it on a, a lower note and go out with a slow song, especially on an album like this. I personally believe that. Uh, but yeah, it was a heavy one. There's a lot of screams in this song, a lot of emotion, and it was a really uh, great paced song, and I really like the cleans in this song as well. Getting into more of an aspect about the entire album, now, I'm gonna say, Shreddy Krueger, first off, in case you didn't know, is a melodic metal band, uh, slash post hardcore band, in my opinion, and they hail from, uh, Kel oh, <laughs> they're from Canada, I can't pronounce it right. Uh, Kelowna, BC, sorry, they're from BC, Canada, which is over west, opposite side of me. Uh, and uh, they just released their full length, uh, like I said, debut, entitled The Grieving. Now, their EP Curses, which you haven't heard, check it out as well, I thought it was something good to start off with. Um, I don't think that it gave fans any aspect of what was coming on this full length, because I think it's completely different. Not their sound, just the fact that they picked up their game and they made such an amazing album. There was a great mix of both clean and screaming vocals, which I thought really stood out on this album. Um, I also like the fact that there's a lot of slower paced instrumentals in songs and faster paced so you can get a slow song fully by itself or you can get a faster song that you can listen to, you know? And something that really uh, makes me think that a lot of people could enjoy this is the fact that there are songs that are slower and just clean vocals for those who do not like uh, a lot of heavy music or not used to it. And for those fans who do enjoy the heavy, you know, like I said, their melodic metal post hardcore, they can listen to the other tracks. And I think that's why this album could be perfect for any music lover. I think Shreddy Krueger did nothing but impress. The fact that their name is Shreddy Krueger makes me laugh because one, Freddy Krueger is awesome. Two, the name of the band is awesome. Shreddy Krueger, come on. Give 
them a like on Facebook just for the fact their name is Shreddy Kruger. That is like one of the coolest band names I've heard of and it made me laugh and think they're awesome all at the same time. Uh, something else I thought was really awesome is the fact that, like I said, this album stepped up completely different from the EP and production quality I thought was really well done, you know. Uh, this band is on In Vogue Records and I'm telling you right now, In Vogue is become, has become one of my favorite labels in recent months. They've done nothing but sign amazing bands, put out great records. If you're a fan of like metalcore, post-hardcore, a bunch of different stuff like that, go check out their YouTube page. But either way, this is about Shreddy Krueger. Um, I will say, pick up this album. I know I'm going to try to. It's going to take me till the next paycheck, you know, because <laughs> whatever. Um, but uh, yes, if you want to listen to a full stream of it before you decide to buy it, in case you didn't hear me, I said full stream of it because I talk fast. Um, I'm going to link it down below because on In Vogue's YouTube page, they are streaming the complete album, and I think it's pretty awesome, so make sure you go and check that out. That's about all i got to say for this review, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't seen my first review that I uploaded tonight, that is uh, of the new My Ticket Home album, probably somewhere in this video or link down below, as well as my Facebook and Instagram. Uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook because I post a lot of cool stuff like music videos and updates because sometimes I update people. I know it's a shocker, right? <laughs> Who updates anyone about anything? Uh, also, on my Instagram, I post pictures of music I listen to and pointless shit, like selfies of my beautiful face. And the light, you know, just makes me so beautiful. Uh, yeah, either way. Like I said, pick up the album, go listen to it on YouTube if you want first. Just make sure you support the band. Really awesome, uh, up and coming. So give them a like on Facebook. All that shit is down below. Make sure you check it out, and I shall see you next time, guys. Uh, until then, me and my early November shirt are going to talk to you then. Remember, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, and music for life. Peace out.